Today we're going to be comparing two ways to change the color of your vehicle. We have Hannah the Mustang wrapped in 3M 1080 series gloss plum explosion vinyl wrap. And we have Aria the Camaro plasti dipped with a custom mix of HKS purple pearls, gloss top coat, grape juice, and purple flake all over a black base. She also has black accents like in the mirror, spoiler, roof, and splitter with purple flake mixed in and gloss top coat also. So why would you want to plasti dip your car? Well, it's a cheap way to change the color of your car in short. Compared to a vinyl wrap and especially a paint job, plasti dip is really cheap. In fact, my buddy got the dip your car kit for a really good price and he gave me a really good price on the labor to dip the whole car. It wasn't professionally done, it wasn't done in a booth or anything, but this car's paint was already pretty bad looking, so I honestly just wanted to make it purple. And I was curious how the Plasti Dip would hold up as someone who drives this car year round and in all kinds of weather conditions. So I wanted to do a little experiment, get the car Plasti Dipped and see how I liked it. Vinyl wrapping a car is done for pretty much the same reasons. You want to change the color of your car? You don't want to pay for a paint job. I understand both of these cars are very dirty right now, by the way. I apologize, but it's getting chilly here in Maryland, and I've been busy with other stuff. All right, so in price factor, Plasti Dip definitely wins. I paid my buddy about 1,200 parts in labor to get this Plasti Dip job done on the entire car. That's, keep in mind, from a friend, not somebody who owns a shop and would likely charge more due to overhead costs. Like the vinyl wrap was about 2200 Keep in mind that is also on a sale deal. And depending on the shop and the material and color you get, it may be different. However, I'm just trying to do a numbers comparison here because I know people are going to ask what each one cost. In terms of durability, the vinyl definitely wins. The fact that I can ceramic coat the vinyl makes it impervious to pretty much anything. And it's very easy to clean because of the glossy surface. The Plasti Dip is a rougher surface, so dirt wants to stick to it more. It's easy to scratch and damage. It's easy to stain from bird crap and tree sap and things like that if you don't immediately get them off. So washing a dip car is a pretty standard procedure. I have dip wash here, which is pretty much the only thing special we have to do. Instead of regular car soap, you get this dip wash because it's approved to use with the dip. And you can use other car wash, but if it damages the dip, then everybody is going to say, you should have used dip wash. So you might as well just use dip wash. I have a foam gun. I did the same thing I do with car soap. I put some in, I put some water in, and I'm just going to spray the car and then scrub it with my microfiber washcloth and use the dip specific drying towel that I have and it's just like a normal wash you just have to be a little more gentle with dip to avoid scratching and marring kind of hard to record with one hand but whatever so yeah I'm just I got the dip wash in the foam gun giving it a good uh kind of pre-soak here. I do the hood and bumper and then fenders too. Yeah, sorry, it's hard with one hand. Then I spray the foam gun onto the microfiber and I gently get uh, scrubbing and wiping. All right, so we just gave her a good wash. You can see this is plastic up and then dip coat on top. Water beads up pretty nicely. It's not quite as good as ceramic coat, probably not as good as wax and stuff, but it still beads up. Uh, I would definitely recommend using a drying towel because water spots look really ugly on dip. And here you can see, I went over it with a drying towel and uh, the, I forget what this is called. Dip towel, dip drying towel. I don't know what it's called, but uh, the one made specifically for dip is what I'm using, so hopefully we're going to avoid some scratches and stuff. So as you can see, on a rainy day like today, the dip coat acts pretty much like a wax. And the car is uh, 
you know, beating the water. The rain's not damaging the dip. I got tire shine on there. So this is kind of how dip holds up to water. Here's a spot I wanted to talk about in particular. Uh, this little spot here, um, bird ship was on there and I left it for a few days. And so now I'm using the bug delete to try and get rid of it. And it seems like it kind of left a spot. And if you could see like here, if, depending on how the light hits it, you can see there's like a distinct spot where the bird shit was. And I, I did have dip coat on this car as well. So apparently that didn't help. So I got it nice and wet. I've tried soaking it already. I rub it coming out a little bit so this is typically how you're gonna handle things like that like bird crap and you kind of have to use your finger and not your nail to just rub nice and firmly and make sure the cloth is really really wet or the spots wet just so you're using less friction overall and you just kind of like rub back and forth but as you can see because I left it on there for a few days it kind of has a permanent mark in there so that's just always going to show up in the sunlight. Here we have a rainstorm. And the ceramic coated car just doesn't care. The water is just kind of rolling right off. And nice beating qualities on the CarPro C quartz there. So rain doesn't matter. Even the wheels, which are a little dirty right now, are beating from the ceramic. As far as looks go, I'd call them about even. I'd say it depends on your preference. Plasti Dip has a much rougher look, kind of like an orange peel kind of look, but with my grape juice in there, it looks constantly wet, and I kind of like that. And I also kind of like that this is a deeper purple than the Mustang. So really, it's up to opinion, and you can put as much flake as you want, you can customize, pretty much any aspect of Plasti Dip, whereas with Wrap, you're either stuck to what color they give you, or you have to pay for a custom design, which doesn't always work well because the designs can stretch and appear distorted, and you're also gonna be paying more for a graphic designer to actually get on the computer and make that image. If you prefer the smoother look, that kinda looks like paint, you're definitely gonna like vinyl wrapping better. This is a gloss wrap. Keep in mind, they also make satin and matte wraps. So you do have options with wrap. You just can't customize it like a mad scientist like you can with Plasti Dip and put whatever the hell you want. Overall, I like vinyl wrapping better. And I'm honestly going to go with vinyl wrap for every car from here on out because the dip is just too easy to damage. I don't want to have to tiptoe around my car's surface and have to deal with constant staining and durability issues. But I will say, if there's a color I'm not too sure about, or I want to experiment and do something crazy, dip is a really cheap way to do that. And I don't have to worry about paying an exorbitant amount of money for an install. And I can peel it off if I don't like it provided you go with enough coats to be able to peel it safely.